What is the DOM? When you try to understand the DOM, you get complicated explanations and diagrams. That's not what this video is. Here's a simple explanation explaining what the DOM is. We'll cover why the DOM exists, what it is in simple terms, and how you use it. Okay, in web dev, we have three things, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They're three different languages, but they need to work together to make things happen. Your HTML will just look like a Word document without CSS, and without JavaScript, well, you might as well print it out with your printer. Anyway, what exactly does JavaScript do? Well, a few different things. It can change your add new HTML. For example, when you click the load more button, more HTML needs to be created with those new results. JavaScript can change our page without having to refresh it, which is huge. The other important thing it can do is respond to user events. For example, when you click on a button, you can make different things happen around your page. This can also be something like submitting a form or sending a message. That's all handled with JavaScript. So here's where I'm going with this. Over here, you have all your HTML. It might look something like this. Now, the way we change the HTML with JavaScript is with the DOM, which is over here. Now, the DOM is just the exact same HTML, okay? The exact same, but it's represented as a JavaScript object. So the DOM is always exactly identical to the HTML on our page. If we change anything in the DOM, our HTML automatically gets updated. And if we add new HTML, then our DOM will change too. Now, things staying in sync, we don't have to worry about that. The browser takes care of this under the hood. But the important part is the DOM and HTML are like the same document in two different languages, like English and Russian. So we can talk about the DOM and we don't just mean this object here. We mean everything that's attached to this object and also the ways we can interact with it. This can mean methods, sub objects and properties, which we're going to walk through now. Methods are functions attached to the document object, which can do things like allow us to select a specific HTML element. For example, the header on our page. Within the document object, we also have sub objects, that is more objects. Like for example, when we select that header, it will give us back an HTML element, which is actually an object on the DOM. And this sub object has its own methods and properties too. For example, we can add an event listener to listen for a click on that header. And finally, we have properties. Using that same header we selected, we can go dot style dot color and then we can set it equal to a string red to change the color. Style is a sub object and inside it, we have properties for every type of CSS. So I know I just covered a lot, but those three things, query selector, event listener, and the style property, well, those are the things you're gonna be using 70 to 80% of the time with the DOM. So if you can understand just those three things, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. So long story short, one HTML file equals one DOM or document object in JavaScript. If you change the DOM, your HTML updates automatically, and this is taken care of. We make these changes using the methods, properties, and sub objects on the DOM. Lastly, by just knowing query selector, adding event listeners, and updating style properties. Well, that can get us a long way, especially when we combine these with other features of JavaScript, such as writing loops and sending HTTP requests. With all that said, you know the basics of the DOM, so get out there and start using it. There's no better way to learn. In fact, you can start that right now by opening the Chrome console and typing the word document. Have fun.